Good morning. Hello. Welcome back. Oh, this is not open properly. That's going to be annoying. Um, welcome back to another month of daily vlogs. It's Vlogrel. We're old school in it now. I mean, in more ways than one. I've just put rollers in my hair. I am pleasantly surprised at how well my short hair holds rollers. Like there's no clips or anything. I just kind of like zhuzh them in and it works. It's amazing. I've just got this new Primark I think this is going to be too fair you know it's very light this new primark concealer the one in the store it's quite light it's quite light let's see i might be able to do it as like an under eye brighter situation it's supposed to be like a dupe for the uh shape tape but i'm interested to see whether or not it's going to be a dupe for the shape tape or the newer shape tape that i actually really like so i'm going to whack on some makeup it is easter sunday today oh, i've just seen yesterday i was looking for this little guy uh because i need oh, i need to get back into my little microphone on instagram anything that kind of makes something a little bit novel and fun for me is good and the little microphone makes me want to make uh short fun content i'm just not a short like at heart i'm always going to be a, a long form youtube girl that is just how it's going to be i'm never going to be able to like totally get on that tiktok shorts instagram reels bandwagon it's just never going to really be who i am and it feels a little bit like if you don't you're going to be left behind um i think i'm just kind of going to be okay with that to be honest because i uh, i just love a vlog I love a long form. Even as a viewer, I'll lose hours to just like mindless stuff. But I really couldn't be without YouTube. How do you feel about this? Oh, under my eyes, that looks okay. It's pretty good for like a brightener situation, but it's definitely too much for like all over my face. But didn't that brighten things up? And I'm not a big concealer person. Like I tend to use concealer in place of foundation and just kind of dot it around. I'm using the Bobbi Brown one now. Um, but that could sell me, depending on what it looks like later, that could sell me on concealer as a product that I actually need to use under my eyes. We'll see, time will tell. Uh, but yeah, Lee was saying the other day, he feels like if he lived alone, I mean, he's just dreaming at this point, but if he lived alone, uh, he would just watch YouTube. He just watches YouTube vlogs and like the occasional other thing we watch a lot of stuff together but like if this was just his viewing alone he thinks he could do without like regular tv i definitely couldn't my capacity for television is i would say unmatched but karen is a close second um but i know a lot of people that feel that way like youtube is their primary source of like entertainment um which is interesting. I'm using things I don't usually use because I can't be able to go and get my makeup bag from our night in London. I'm downstairs and I don't actually think I have another mascara. I must have one somewhere. Just found, found an old Lash Sensational. Seems good still. Doesn't seem to be too dried out. But I don't know how old this is. This used to be my absolute favourite before I discovered that one from Lancome. And it, this is still a great one. This is still definitely my favourite drugstore mascara. But it's just been overshadowed, unfortunately. The brow situation has been going pretty well, I must say, uh, since I've been using the uh, Rapid Brow. Um, they've grown so much. And then I tinted them last week. And it's like whole new eyebrows, like without putting anything on them, I just do a little bit of something to hold them kind of in place. Now I have brows that can be manipulated and um, yeah, it's great. They're not, you know, fully filled in, but they don't look pink because the, I mean, they look a little bit pink because the dye has kind of like knocked that out a little bit and they definitely look fuller from the rapid brow. So I'm gonna keep up with that. The only problem I'm having is the rapid brow can make my eyebrows, like the, the skin around my eyebrows, a little bit red and angry and sometimes a little bit flaky. So if then I'm going to use something on my brows the next day to try and like hold them up, it can look a little bit, well, so we'll see. 
see how that goes. Recently, I've been using the Rapid Brow in the morning and then at night time, I put on like um, something really nourishing like the Elizabeth Arden 8 hour cream or something just over my brows just to try and combat that. There's been times where I put it on and like all around my brow is red. Clearly my skin doesn't enjoy it, but it really works. Now for the big <gasps> reveal of the what did this do to my hair. I'm just going to look like Martha Mayhew by the end of this. It's going to all be flipped out. Hopefully that can be corrected and flipped in again. Otherwise I've done something crazy. Look how like just pulling the rollers out. It's a dream. It's like Kris Jenner. It's my, oh, Lord Farquhar. It's perfect. Did a full, full Farquhar. Oh. The volume. The volume. And that was so easy. I, I mean, I literally rough dried my hair. Then I put the rollers in and um, went over it again with the hairdryer just to kind of like heat them all up while they were in the rollers. Can you even? It's like a real, I feel like a Bond girl. I've never liked my hair so much. When she um, cut it for me in the salon, she did it a kind of a dry cut because we were donating the lengths. Um, it was an awkward way of doing it. So I wasn't really sure what the cut was going to look like until now because she kind of straightened it and cut it. And I haven't washed and blow dried it since. So I was like, well, I don't really know what the shape is going to be because that's not, I won't straighten it. I won't like, you know, how the cool way of styling a bob with the straightener. That's not kind of how I would do it. I would do it like this. So I'm feeling really great about it now because this is exactly what I had in mind. It's like the bounciest, the most volume. We are at the lake. Um, I had to put a jumper on because I was colder now. It's all right, it's all right. Um, we're walking down towards the water and the um, old guys with the boats are here, which is great. It's been ages since I've seen this. And um, we used to, cause we used to live near it. Uh, we used to see them do it all the time, but they have all these remote control boats, it's so cute. Look, they're lowering the boats in. This is such a cool hobby. On sunny days, they always used to bring them out. And um, I'm guessing also, this is, this is a new addition someone's added to the lake. Um, I'm guessing that they've not been able to get down because of the building, because we've had all these houses built. This, the one you're about to see, it's, it's pretty. All the people that live up there, their views have been taken over by all these houses that have been put up here. Um, but yeah, I'm guessing that they've not been able to do it because there's been all of this construction. This is the first summer day that we've been to the lake and we've seen them. They used to be here all the time. But isn't it a really fun, it's just a fun thing. Oh no! <laughs> There's ducklings. These swans are terrifying. One of these swans used to make a beeline for Manny and hiss it. I swear he could come from across the lake, he could see Manny and he was like, I don't like you. <laughs> Although it's probably a female swan. Um, but look at these tiny little ducklings. Lee pointed out the most aggressive chip in the world. It's actually attacked. The bag. We're gonna have Burger King in forever. Nope. Very excited about this. Milo's getting a McDonald's. Feel but... rich. Oh, I know. You need to be rich to go to Burger King. It feels particularly bougie. Lee said it's like travel day things. Well, I'm gonna go to Burger King really at services. Yeah. Yeah. It's exciting. This might be. Oh, what's that? what's that hair over there? This might be an unpopular opinion. I don't care. Uh, Burger King better than any McDonald's I've ever had in my entire life. It's just, it's just better. Um, so I've been sitting inside. Man. I really want to go outside and like sort out a little area to sit in the sun. What I've been wanting to do is put this little section on here. So we've emptied this out now, it's all kind of dried up. I'm going to deflate it, just move it away, move the section all over here. This is where we get the afternoon sunlight. And I will say the one thing about having the gazebo, because it's absolutely, it was brilliant. And it's nice to be able to sit under there and work because it's like near some plugs and stuff. Um, and also you kind of keep out the sun. But when you actually want to sit in the sun, there's, it, it really takes up a lot of the, like it, it shadows the garden. We wouldn't sit here necessarily, but you can see 
the shadow on the garden here. There's not a lot of sun that we get anyway in the garden and that kind of took all of it. So now we've just got this little corner, which is always where the sun was the best. Um, but I would like to put a little seating area there. So maybe have an evening when I finish work and uh, you've kind of got that late sun in the corner. It'd be nice to just sit there, not like the heat of the day, because that's what the gazebo is for. Late in the evening, that's what I'm kind of aiming for. So I'm going to move some stuff around now. Uh, we, stupidly, because it's Easter, but it's bank holiday and you're just not used to things being closed. We were like, oh, we'll go to Tesco. Oh, Tesco's closed. Oh, we'll go to B&Q. B&Q is closed. Of course it is. It's Easter Sunday. So we were going to go and get some um, bits and pieces. Like, I'm, this is seriously, this needs some, some slash a lot of work. But this needs to be dealt with. Um, not today. Maybe tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow. Today, this. Oh, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Also, it would look really nice with some of this lavender planted around it, wouldn't it? I think it would. Uh, this less so. This area is now <laughs> for drying out. Um, kind of made like a little fiber area. I need some more rocks, more pebbles, whatever these are called. Gravel. Um, and I would quite like an outdoor seating. You know, like an eating bit here. But we'll see. We'll see. I'll tell you what is throwing it off. This. And I love this. But this was hung before we had this big pergola. And now it's kind of in a weird space. It, it's like you don't want to put another seat in front. And my phone died because I'd been listening to a book. I'd been listening to that, the last one on the hill. I told you in the last vlog. I can't remember what it's called. The was the last one left. It's really, really good. I'll tell you, I'll, I'll, I'll go, wait a minute. The Last One Left by Riley Sager. That is the name of the book. It's really good. It's about um, a woman who, in the beginning you find out that she, she's a carer and the last person she looked after had died. Uh, and it seems like people thought that she was to blame and then she's, there's like not enough evidence. So they give her this other job and the job is to care for someone who, everyone believes killed her family and she throughout the the course of the book you're kind of finding out more about that did she do it did she not do it this is like decades earlier and there's been like um, a rumor and a mystery in the town about this old woman who lives on the hill um and then we're also finding about like the main protagonist and whether or not she did what they thought she did and it's it's really been interesting um anyway that's what i was listening to because i was listening to that in my headphones at the same time my phone died well, I was trying to tell you what I'd done outside. Um, tomorrow, I think we're going to do B&M, B&Q, more stones, major gardening. Lee's going to do the cutting the grass. We're going to do some power, power washing, pressure washing. Is it just me? Pressure washing. I feel exhausted after pressure washing. It gives me the same feeling of, you know, when you leave swimming and you're just like wiped. I don't know what it is about pressure washing but it makes me feel so tired. So that is tomorrow. We'll see. I'm going to end it there because I'm going to edit this vlog. It's like five o'clock. I'm going to edit this vlog. I'm going to have a nap. I don't know if it's... I look at Ellen out last night. She was home at like four o'clock in the morning. That woke us up. I don't know if it's that. The fact that we lost an hour last night or we're still recovering from our whirlwind trip to London with a, an early morning and a late night that night. I don't know, either way, I deserve a nap, so I'm gonna have one, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.